the introduction of tonight's starting lineups. Introducing first the starting lineup for the Temple University Owls. At forward, a 6'9 senior from Freehold, New Jersey, number 33, Tim Perry. At forward, a 6'7 junior from Morrisville, Pennsylvania, number 32, Mike Vrieswick. At center, a 6'10 senior from Carolina, Puerto Rico, number 44, Ramon Rivas. At guard, a 6'5 freshman from Saginaw, Michigan, number 12, Mark Macon. At guard, a 6'1 senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 21, Howard Evans. And the head coach of the Owls, John Chaney. And now the starting lineup for the UCLA Bruins. At forward, a 6'7 junior from Toronto, Canada, number 45, Charles Rochelin. At forward, a 6'8 sophomore from Reseda, California, number four, Trevor Wilson. At center, a seven-foot sophomore from Oakland, California, number 32, Greg Foster. At guard, a 6'1 junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 24, Pooh Richardson. At guard, a 6'4 senior from Hillsdale, Oregon, number 30, Dave Emmel. And the head coach of the Bruins, Walt Hazard. So, there are the starting lineups and the coaches, John Chaney against Walt Hazard. The Philadelphia connection continues tonight. Back with the tap off from Paulie. And, and there are the matchups for tonight, as you can see, it's some interesting matchups. Yeah, and there's uh, Macon against Pooh Richardson. That should be a good one. Howard Evans, of course, the point guard for the Owls, and Pooh, number 24, will be the point guard for the UCLA Bruins. So we're getting ready to tap it off here tonight. Timmy Perry against Greg Foster. Timmy Perry, one of the premier shot blockers in college basketball. As the Owls with John Chaney getting ready to tap off a new season. John, of course, was coach of the year in college basketball a year ago. We're underway from Pauley Pavilion, and Ramon Rivas snatches it. He's a key guy in the game. It depends he sure how many minutes he can play. UCLA showing man-to-man, -man, and Bill, you said they'll probably go man-to-man -man all night long. They got Immel faced up against Macon. This is Breezewick down low. Ramon got Foster off his feet, and it's rejected. And the Bruins showing the break. Immel. Gets it back and lays it up. No good. And Richardson tracks it down in the backcourt. That's a great block up inside, I'll tell you, by uh, Charles Rochland. Rochland with the block against Rivas. This is Rochland. Richardson, he'll control the offense for Hazard. And Temple's in its zone. They work that perimeter against that Temple zone. Richardson trying to look inside. The ball is deflected and taken away by Mark Macon. Ahead of the pack, Howard Evans for the breakaway. And Temple leads 2-0. And the first good pass of the Temple season goes to Macon. Who also came up with the steal. So the Owls up on the board first. The Wilsons are leading scorer coming into the game. Foster with the short turnaround over Curry, and we're tied at 2. And you see UCLA setting up at a 2-2-1 and playing a high post offense off Foster. Mike Breezewick, boy, what a game he had in that NCAA loss last year to LSU when he single-handedly brought the Owls back with some great outside shooting. Macon's first shot, no good. There's Curry slamming home the offensive rebound. Big key in the ball game will be offensive rebounds for the Owls. And Temple's going to have to rebound the ball defensively, Harry, and not let this team have more than one shot. If they do, they're not going to stop their transition game either. Wilson far out on the right side. Inside Foster over Rivas. And Foster hits it, and we're tied again at four. Greg Foster. Here's Mike Breeswack on the right wing. In his face, Trevor Wilson. Breeswick looking for Macon. Down low is Rivas. Breeswick was in his lovely shooting position and passed up the shot. 
Macon quick off that dribble. Got it to go. Left-handed shot off the dribble by Mark Macon right by Immel. He's some kind of a looking player, isn't he? Wow, he's only a first. This is his first yeah. game, too, right? Playing got, like it's his 90th. They got four more years of Mark Macon on North Broad Street. It's a long jump by Richel. Foster and Friesewick, and Friesewick gets it to Macon. Leads a two on three, he'll pull it up. He's got Timmy Purry down low, and he decides to go back out to Howard Evans. Owls leads 6-4 early. Purry spins over Richland. Won't go. Rivas can't get the tap down. Another offensive rebound, Ramon, and he laid it in. I was glad to see Ramon get up, Barry. I think he's having trouble getting up and down the floor, and it's questionable how many minutes he's going to play. He's coming off arthroscopic knee surgery. And he's got that right knee heavily bandaged. 8-4 Temple was played almost three minutes. He's also a little overweight because he hasn't been able to run very much. And as Foster goes up, Rebus commits his first personal foul. Of course, Ramon always the tendency to get into early foul trouble. And John doesn't fuss around. He picks up two quick ones. He'll have somebody in there, probably Derek Bantley off the bench. So we played about three minutes, and Temple leads 8-4. We're at Pauley Pavilion tonight. Harry Donahue and Bill Campbell, glad you could join us here on Philly 57, the first of four games we'll have for you involving the Temple Owls this year. As is obvious from what you've seen in the early part of the game, UCLA will run at every opportunity. There's a, gr a great fast-breaking team, and Richardson is simply an absolutely outstanding ball. Great point guard. Foster draws the collar on his first two free throws, so the Owls maintain that 8-4 lead. There's pressure by Pooh against Howard Evans. Couple guards out of Philly. Shot is missed. Rebound. Taken away by UCLA. Richardson brings it up. Behind Rivas. He almost uses Ramon as a shield. The ball is off Timmy Purry, and the Bruins will inbound under their own basket. Richardson giving an incredible demonstration of saving the play and handling a mistake that he had created and preventing a turnover. Walt Hazard there on the UCLA bench, assisted by Andre McCarter, another great Overbrook guard who also came out here and played for John Wooden UCLA. Richardson down low, Foster with the short hook over Rivas. So Foster's got his inside game going, and it's 8-6. Temple's lead is at 2. He is also the best three-point shooter on the team. He's really a fine athlete. He averaged just over 10 points a game in their first two. There's a three-second violation called against Ramon Rebox. So the Owls turn it over on the three-second violation. Here's a chance for UCLA to draw another tie. It's 8-6 as John Cheney's already got his wardrobe partially removed. They carried his jacket out. He never put it on for the start of the game. That's right. John was out here about an hour and a half ago before tap off, sitting in the bleachers, just like he is now. Maybe he didn't even bring the sport coat. Told me he went to Rodeo Drive yesterday. Well, he didn't buy a sport coat. $400 cashmere sweater he wanted to buy. Here's Pooh Richardson over oh. Howard Evans. Long rebound, Breezeway. And the Owls decide not to run this trip. Evans assuming a new role this year. He's not the shooting guard, he's the point guard. Down low, Timmy Purry. Roshlin guarding, fronts it, hit it. Roshlin did a very good job keeping Curry away from the basket, but he hit the shot anyway. So the Owls lead it out 10-6. Immel. This kid started last year with Richardson in the backcourt in the game. The Temple just blew UCLA out on the Broad Street out of McGonagall Hall. Final score was an 11-point difference for the Owls. Wilson shot his long. Curry with the rebound in front of Roshlin. Great position that time by Curry. And here's another trip for the Owls, leading by four. Macon's open. Long with that jump shot. Wilson's got the rebound. But Wilson really pounds the boards. They've got to keep him off the defensive board. He really pounds them. He's got some physique. He looks like a statue out there, doesn't he? And he, and he runs the court extremely well. I really like him. He's a good eight, number four, an excellent-looking athlete. You know, his half-brother was the leading scorer for New Mexico, and they played in that preseason NIT. There's Wilson him. with the ball. Great move, and he can't get it to go down. And Perry's got another rebound. Quickly ahead to Howard Evans. Pooh Richardson meets him on the ring. This is Rieswick Country. His first long three-point try is missed. Rebound Foster, and they want to run again. Boy, they can get up and down the floor, I want to tell you. Open man was Wilson, and he missed the opportunity when he flubbed the pass from Pooh Richardson. Now Pooh will run the set offense. Immel on the Ooh. wing by Breezewick. Cross dribble. Watch how quickly they get back on defense, whether they score or they don't. Whether they score or they don't, they're right back on defense immediately. It's a good sign in the team. Another two-point lead for the Owls at 10-8. Howard Evans, Macon. He's got two, and he missed one shot of the two he's taken. Curry with the jump. He's got his fourth point. Something's having a very good first half. Very impressive. 12-8, Temple by four. 
And again, against the Temple Zone, the set offense for the Bruins. Simmel goes in the corner to Rashlin. Back outside it comes to Richardson. Now Wilson. They play catch with it on the perimeter. Foster, the only man down low. Everybody else is out beyond the three-point circle. They just worked off that post, and they're very patient. The Owls will let him play with it out there. Long jump by Emma. Won't go down, and Curry lost it, knocked away, and they say it was touched last by Timmy Curry. As Ray yeah. Foster out the over. We've got a break in the action. Okay. Temple yeah. leads it by four. There's a look at the recent history in this series between Temple and UCLA. The uh, Bruins winning big. This is a little note on uh, Mark Bacon here. Cheney talking about him. I thought in the game last year at uh, McGonagall Hall that but uh, UCLA played very undisciplined, played wild, out of control. Not playing that way tonight. To Temple's out rebounding UCLA, 8-5. Making with a hand on it. Here is Wilson spinning on Curry, and Timmy is called for his personal foul. That's the first foul against Timmy Curry. He's got six points to lead the outs. And to the line will go Trevor Wilson. And here's the play again, and you'll see the foul as they committed. They almost got him in a double team, and they got him right here, and there's the foul as he bangs it and takes a shot at him. Uh, Foster, by the way, has six of uh, UCLA's eight points. Wilson from the line in his first two games was 10 for 16, and he's missed his first try here. That's the third foul shot they've missed. They're 0 for 3, and he met, finally makes one. UCLA is a pretty good foul shooting team, and not the right so far. So it's a 12-9 Temple lead with 13 and a half minutes left in the first half. Pooh Richardson applying the pressure on the hip of Howard Evans. This is Mark Macon out of Saginaw, Michigan, an All-American in high school, one of the real blue chippers coming into his freshman year of college basketball. Down low, Ramon Rivas won't go down. Captain Luce and Walker is into the ballgame now for the Bruins. Comes away with the rebound. Ahead it goes, Pooh Richardson. Howard Evans holding his ground right there at the top of the circle. Walker's in there for Roshlin. Cross-court pass. Walker open for the jump. No. Wilson missed. Loose ball. Heavens comes away with it. As Rivas hit the deck, and he's all right. I want to say that Trevor Wilson's getting awesome position every time. we got to do something about that guy. Reeswood. Rivas. So the Owls doing the job on the offensive boards. Macon will come up short, but he'll get it right back. And the Owls will get three cracks out. Reeswood down low. Rivas over Foster. So they draw 0 for 3, and Immel comes away with the ball. Ahead it comes to Pooh Richardson. Blocked off by Macon and Evans on the trap there. One worrisome thing is Temple's getting beaten on its offensive board so far tonight. Immel comes back to an open Pooh Richardson. That reduces Temple's lead to 1. 12-11 now. I ought to correct one statement I made in its first two games. UCLA has not shot fouls very well. 57%. Macon, man-to-man, -man, Immel on him. Open jump by Howard Evans is short, and there's Wilson with the rebound. Every rebound is going to a white shirt. Richardson, knocked away by Howard Evans, and Rivas comes up with it. Ahead of the pack, Evans. That's Ooh. goaltending on yeah. Foster. He pinned it against the glass, and Howard will get the basket. And the Owls are back up by three at 14 and 11. And we have a break in the action coming. 11.44 left in the first half, and Temple leads UCLA. We want to remind you, the announcers for this game have been contracted for and approved by Temple University. Any use, free broadcast, or other transmission of this game without the written consent of Temple University or creative sports marketing is prohibited. All right, here's the breakaway, and you'll see the goaltending here, which is charged against uh, Foster. Rivas fires it down the floor to get the open man. Here's Evan, and he gets the shot pinned up against the glass. The overall rebounding stats really don't look all that bad. In fact, Temple is out rebounding UCLA 10-8 overall. That's because Temple is doing a very good job at one end of the floor, but not a very good job on the offensive end of the floor and getting beaten to every single offensive rebound. It's an area that John's concerned about, and uh, they're going to do have to do something about it, and you can bet he's thinking about it right here, Harry. All right, we have 11.44 left in the first half. Temple leads 14-11. The Owls have led all the way, and here's Pooh Richardson. This is Greg, or Trevor Wilson in the corner. Wilson right at that three-point line. Derek Brantley's oh. in there now for Ramon Rivas, and he applied pressure on Trevor Wilson. Immel wings it across to Foster. Now it goes to Immel. Back to Richardson. Wide open lane. He missed the layup. Rebound, though, Trevor Wilson. That's about his fifth rebound, isn't it? They're going to have to do something about Trevor Wilson. He's very athletic, very bouncy at both ends of the floor. 
runs the floor extremely well, and he's up on every glass. So it's a one-point lead again for the Owls. This is Bacon. Breezewick comes from outside, from uh, down low to outside, and feeds it to Howard Evans. Look where Wilson is defensively with uh, Breezewick. Macon forced it, bricked it, and we have a foul against the Bruins. Walker caught pushing off underneath against Derek Brantley. If you want a little by play on inner defense, just watch uh, number four, uh, Wilson, as he follows Breezewick every place he goes. Breezewick can't make a move without Wilson being all over. There probably isn't a more streaky shooter in college basketball than Mike Breezewick. Once he gets it going, he can pour him in from anywhere. Well, he's not getting much time to get it off tonight. Wilson's done a heck of a job on it. As are most of the Bruins on this man-to-man. Emmo -man. in front of Macon. Here's Breezewick. Wilson right there. Richardson playing Howard Evans. Down low, Curry. Foster's got him. They play catch with a two-man game. Curry with the fade. He's got it. He's got eight points. And the Owls go up again by three at 16-13. Ten and a half minutes left in the half. Curry playing outstanding. His man Foster's giving him the position, and he's drilling him. Emmo swings it over. Walker, a long jump for three. He hit it. Well, I told you at the beginning of the broadcast, he's the best three-point shooter on the team, and he proved it. Kevin Walker off the bench, averaging 13 points in the first two games for the Bruins, and hits his first three-point try. Sophomore from Gray, California. See the guy 6'10", go out and take that shot. Down low, Brantley over Walker, and it drops. He got the bounce, and Brantley's on the board, and the Owls lead it again by two at 18-16. Brantley in there for Revox. That kind of surprised me. I thought Coswell might be, but Cheney went to the more experienced Brantley. Emma for three. So two trips, two three-pointers, and the Bruins have a one-point lead in 1918. Hazard told me he's a great three-point shooter, but in the first two games they played, he went one for ten. Macon. Emma on defense this time. Macon forced his last shot. This time he looks around and visits to Howard Evans. They're trying to spring Breezewick. And we have a whistle. And it's going to be against Temple. Another three-second violation against the Owls. Derek Brantley. Or is it a foul? It's a personal foul. They say he blocked somebody down low as they were trying to free Mike Breezewick along that baseline. It was right over in front of Cheney and Sean didn't say very much about it either. So the Bruins with a one-point lead now. This is their first lead in the game. We've got about nine minutes left till halftime. Here's Walker swinging it over to Pooh Richardson down low. Posting up is Wilson. Hurry on him. Now Wilson goes baseline. Wild Ooh. shot. But the rebound is up by Foster off the offensive board. We think that number four is on an athlete. How he never lost possession of the ball. I'll tell you, he's something to write home about. He's strong. Biggest UCLA lead now, 21-18. Macon on the right wing. Top of the circle is Breezeway. Howard Evans. Howard will let it fly. Three, he's got it. Harry Foster is four for four in the game, and Tim Perry is four for four in the game. So Howard Evans with a three-pointer, and again the tie this time at 21. Eight and a half minutes left, first half. Walker goes to... Matkins is in the ball. Matkins, Gerald Matkins in there, a guard. Here's Pooh Richardson, baseline. And the Bruins go back up 23-21. Howard Evans by Pooh Richardson and got it down. Nice move by Harold Evans, going to his left off the dribble, past Pooh Richardson. And we have another tie at 23. This is Gerald Matkin. He has a freshman, Harry. I didn't expect to see him play from Mer Fort Merced, California. He, I didn't know he was going to play or not. He's out here right now. Oh, no. Long <laughs> jump Walker. No, and Perry's got a rebound. And the Owls with a chance to regain the lead. It's tied now at 23. Breezewick. In the lane over Wilson, won't go, but he's got a trip to the line coming. The foul is going to be called against Trevor Wilson. Question is, is it, question is, is it on Wilson or the guy in back of him? I think they charge Wilson. Here's Wilson playing defense. He's been there with Breezewick all night. He's got a lot of room to play with, doesn't he? Breezewick with Wilson playing. Breezewick, by the way, is... 0 for 5 from the floor. Yeah, well, you've seen him do that. Against LSU last sure. year in the NCAA tournament, he couldn't throw it in the ocean in the first half, and he came out in the second half and hit five consecutive three-point shots. He's a, a real streaky shooter, but when he's hot, he'll put it in from anywhere. He makes two from the line. 
And the Owls lead 25-23 with seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Well, December brings the Temple University. That's not Chet Sikowski. That is the Wizard of Westwood, John Wooden. Needs no introduction, does he? Here at UCLA, where he really put this place on the map with Gail Goodrich there to his left. Former All-American guard with the Bruins, teamed with Walt Hazard on a couple of their championship teams here at UCLA, and they went on to a great pro career with the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. I'd love to have the opportunity to ask Mr. Wooden some night what he thinks of all the freshmen on these squads. There are nine freshmen on these two squads, six of them on UCLA's two. Here is Matkins, one of those freshmen, swinging it over to Wilson. Once again, the perimeter set up here for the Bruins. The only guy down low is Walker. Here's in the ballgame, Darren Pearsall now. Here's Walker shot blocked, but a foul is called. That is Dwayne Puswell, the big seven-footer out of New York City. And he's called for the foul when he thought he had the block. Here's the uh, block on Puswell. He's just come into the game at the last time out, and he goes up and commits a foul uh, right away. He's a 6'11 center Kevin from Walker, Queens Street Village, two. New York. He went to Cardoza School, and he should get a lot of playing time earlier in the year because of Ramon, Ramon's inability to go meaningful moments. One more. Walker misses. Boy, the Bruins have really had a ice-cold night from the line so far here in the first half. They Foul trailed 25-23 and have missed, what, four free yeah. throws already. Foul shooting has been terrible. It's been bad. There's another one. So Walker draws the collar. Here's a guy that buried his first three-point try, and he can't hit it from 15 feet. Mark Bacon. Long jump for three. He's called tonight. Pierce all with the offensive rebound, and the Ailes will get another shot. Temple leads it by two with just under seven minutes left first half. Macon and Evans play catch with it. Swing it right side. Pierce all. Wilson on him. Boy, Matkins is really in the pants, practically, of Mark Macon on defense. Long jump by Pierce all. Missed everything. And the rebound, Matkins. In a hurry, Pooh Richardson pulls up in front of Howard Evans. Gives it back to Matkins. Cross court, this is Walker by Pearsall. Kevin Walker. So Walker's got five, and we're tied again at 25 with 6.23 left in the first half. I want to tell you, Harry, I hate to say this. This is the first time I've seen Temple play in somebody else's building in which they're shooting tentatively, aiming the ball a little bit, not following through on the shot. Kind of surprising. Maybe some opening night jitters. Pearsall hits his first jump from the baseline. That gives the Owls a lead back at 27-25. Biggest margin in this game so far tonight. Three points. Both teams had leads. Here's a steal again by Howard Evans with Pooh Richardson trailing. Won't go. Macon follows. So Macon's got four, and the Owls lead by four, 29-25. Both of Macon's baskets have been on aggressive follow-ups. Matkins and Pooh Richardson down low. It comes. This is Coswell, I guess. Coswell called for the foul, and going to the line will be number 52, Craig Jackson, a senior out of Denver, 6'8", 206 pounds, his first trip to the line. He just came in that last break. This guy, Rockford, is just coming into the game. Dean Demopoulos, one of Temple's coaches, describes him as a sneaky type player. You don't know he's around, plays the corner and the baseline, and he'll knock your brains out from those positions. He's a very, very dangerous player. Both these coaches here in the first half are already freely substituted. <laughs> Another miss, huh? What's that? UCLA shooting for the foul line. They've, uh, they've missed, I believe, six. Jackson misses again. And Hard to believe. And the outs finally get it. Make it. And he gives to Howard Evans and Temple. Leading by four. Five and a half left till halftime. We're at Pauley Pavilion tonight. Harry Donahue and Bill Campbell. Glad you could join us on this Thursday evening. Here's Darren Pearsall. Brantley has position. It's knocked away by Jackson, and Rashlin has it. This is Pooh Richardson. Boy, Brantley had ideal position and just couldn't get the ball. Great feed oh. underneath. Block. Walker blocked ahead of the pack for the breakaway. Howard Evans. And there's the biggest lead of the night at six points. 31-25. Temple, the fast break working for Howard Evans. UCLA is two for nine on the foul line, which has something to do with this, no doubt. Howard Evans with 10 points. The lead all scorers tonight. Here's a long jump by Rushland. He got it down for three. For two. Just inside the three-point line. So Rushland 
brings UCLA to within four. It's 31-27. More substitutions for Temple. Mike Breezewick replacing uh, Mark Macon. And Immel comes into UCLA's lineup replacing Gerald Matkin. Temple leads by four, and Howard Evans just walks it up very deliberately. I think it's very encouraging that Temple leads by four and is not playing its best basketball. Here's all. Evans at the top of the circle. Howard off to a fast start tonight with 10 points. Pearsall over Rosland. Yes, and he's fouled. Rosland says, not me, but the foul is on number 45. And to the line will go Darren Pearsall out of Chester High. There's Rosland committing the foul. You'll see they got Rosland out of his customary corner spot. He had to come out to play Pearsall. He doesn't like playing people out there on the wing too much. It, and it looked unaccustomed to being there, and he made a very definite foul, and there Hazard not very happy about it. And there's our free throw shooting tonight, 22% for the Bruins. That's the first miss by the Owls. So the lead stays at 6, 33, 27, 4 minutes and 18 seconds left first half. Richardson and Ibble playing catch with it again. Howard Evans in the middle of the Temple zone there. Breswick way out on the wing in front of Jackson. Coswell denying to Walker, and Walker had it knocked away by Dwayne Coswell. So the Bruins will inbound as John Cheney's off the bench. John doesn't spend much time seated as he's uh, down and up again into the lineup, Greg Foster replacing Jackson in that Bruin lineup. So Jackson sits down and Foster's back in. Bruins the inbound, they trail by six. Pooh Richardson's gone all the way at the point position for Walt Hazard. Immel fakes, decides not to shoot. And now Richardson will call the uh, set play. They got Walker there in the corner, and he's threw it away. There was nobody there. He was looking for somebody. An anticipated movement on the baseline, and Pearsall comes up with the steal. Give and go, and nobody wins. There's the time left in the first half. Down low, Coswell, his first shot. Tapped away, two Bruins hit it into Breeswick's hand. It's slapped away by Immel. Here's Immel on a two-on-three. He'll take it himself. And goaltending against Caldwell. No doubt about it. Complete goaltending, no question about it. Immel made an unbelievable move. Well, no hesitation that time by Immel. We got a four-point game, and we'll be right back. Wits and X's and O's with his uh, old buddy John Chaney tonight. 33-29, Al's lead with 3.20 left in the first half. This is Howard Evans. Breezewick comes out, and look at Immel right on him. Right corner, Pearsall. Down low is Brantley, and Coswell, the double low post. Now Howard decides to take it back outside and eat some clock. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. Breezewick's been really blanking it all in the first half here by Immel. Long jump, Pearsall, no. Coswell, rebound, stripped. Immel comes up with it. Nice play by Walker to strip the ball away from Dwayne Coswell. Well, Coswell's got to put that rebound away. He had it, and then when he brought it down, he lost it. Immel playing catch with Walker. Immel by Evans, who reached around, and Howard's going to be called for the personal foul. Well, I'll tell you, I'm impressed with the way UCLA's playing defense. Uh, much better than they did a year ago. There's no question about that. This has been really a uh, foul-free first half. Nobody really in any difficulty for the Owls. Howard Evans there picking up his first. Here's Mark Macon back into Temple's lineup, and Howard Evans will go out. So it'll be interesting to see now Mark Macon work the point because the point guy, Howard Evans there, is taking a seat next to John Chaney. And you see uh, Hadger get Wilson back in the game, too, because he wants to match speed with speed. In the corner, this is Pooh Richardson. Breezewick on the defense. Long jump by Evans for three. And we got another one-point game as Immel slices that Temple lead down to 33-32 with two and a half minutes left. First half at Pauley Pavilion tonight. Pressure, look at that, right away. As soon as Macon comes in to hand the ball, Pooh Richardson is all over him. Reesway, fake from three, went up for two. Missed, Coswell, blocked. Richardson leads the break. It's a one-on-three oh, and a Pearsall block into the crowd here at Pauley Pavilion, and that'll really silence everybody a little bit. We've had two defensive plays back-to-back, -back, both ends of the floor. We ought to point out that this team is being run now by Macon. He is the point that's right. guard. That's it. Freshman running a team this experience, that's highly unlikely. Wilson's open. Trevor Wilson gives UCLA 
A 34-33 lead with two minutes left in the half. Breezewick from the field, incidentally, is 0 for 7. Here's Macon backing up against Pooh Richardson. Pearsall goes to Breezewick. Maybe a little gun shy here after that 0 for 7 start. Macon for 3. Got it. Well, point guard goes up, knocks it in. That's doing his job, isn't it? I'll tell you, this kid looks like he's played about three years of college ball already, doesn't he? Asking that kid to come off the bench and run this team at UCLA and Pauley Pavilion. Roslin hit it. That's where he loves to shoot from. Baseline corner shooter, and he'll kill you from there. We're on the seesaw now as uh, the ball game is tied at 36 with a minute and a half left in the half. When Roslin hit that baseline jumper, Cheney screamed. Here's wow. Baker. Right by Pooh Richardson, who picked him up three-quarter press. And Macon just said, you challenge me, I'll challenge you. He's hit two big buckets here. Five straight points for Mark Macon. The Owls lead by two. Here's a bad pass. That's the first mistake that Trevor Wilson's made in the half. Bad pass by Wilson. I'll tell you, Harry, letting you watch the ball and I can watch all this other stuff was fun. They pay you to do this, huh? <laughs> just to watch the defense and watch where all the other guys are and to watch Macon is a real joy. All right, here he is with the ball, the freshman out of Saginaw, with Pooh Richardson, the junior. Hard to believe that Pooh Richardson is in his junior year in college. Just seems like yesterday when he was lighting up in the public league with Ben Franklin High. Brantley. And three Bruins there battle for the rebound, and Wilson comes away with it. Brantley had to shoot over a double team that became a triple team. Richardson down, passes corner, Roshlin. Roshlin again for the corner. He's a streaky shooter, too. They got to get him off that baseline. They got to get him out of there, I'll tell you. And it's a 38-38 tie with half a minute to play in the first half. You notice one thing, Harry, the ball is being handled very, very well. They're not throwing it away. Macon force that one, but a foul is called by Pooh Richardson right in front of John Cheney, the freshman Macon, who scored five in a row and Walt hadn't done like that call at all. There's Pooh with his first personal foul. With teams going up and down the floor this, pat, this fast at this pace, I think it's remarkable that Temple's turned it over only four times and UCLA just five. That's very good. And here's the celebrated freshman Mark Macon. He hit it. 24, Jimmy. Macon makes the first. He's got eight. Howard Evans, ten to lead the Owls. Now Macon misses that one and Pearsall battled and lost it on the baseline. It's going to be UCLA ball with 22 seconds left. John Cheney doesn't like that call. And he's letting everybody at Pauley know about it. You know, there are two new rule changes this year, as I'm sure you know, Harry. One of them is that coaches cannot talk to officials anymore. <laughs> got to choke on that. Thing. He's got to talk to Jimmy Maloney now as assistant, right? Well, we've got a lot of good orators in the Big Five, and they're all going to be stymied a little bit this year. Immel makes his move. Dishes off Foster. And that'll do it at halftime. So Foster on the feed from Immel, and we've reached the end of the first half here at Pauley Pavilion. UCLA has a one-point lead at 40 to 39 over the Temple Owls. The opener for the Owls here at Pauley Pavilion against the Bruins of UCLA and there's coach Walt Hazard heading to the locker room and for his halftime comments to the UCLA Bruins. They made a nice run there at the end to get back into this game and they take a one point lead Bill into the halftime intermission. They're scoring but Macon as Harry noticed when he went to the point guard thing at the end of the first half he looked very much at home. Whole different player. Howard Evans is back in there now as the point guard and the Owls will begin with the ball here to start the second half. Trailing by a point 40 to 39 as UCLA in the final four and a half minutes went on a, a seven to nothing run to get the lead at halftime. Macon for three. Long and the loose ball in the corner and Timmy Perry tracks it down. Timmy played in that first half with 10 points. This is Mark Macon working again with Howard Evans. When Howard did go to the bench near the end of the half and Macon took over, as we mentioned, he was a, just a different ball player. Mike Griezwick with the move down the middle doesn't get it to drop, it but he does throw the foul. Gold ten. Yeah, they're going to give him the bucket. They're okay. going to give him the basket. They're going to give it to him. That might get Griezwick going. He's had a laborious first half. John stayed with him, started in the second half. He's also started Rivas. No field goals for Mike Griezwick in six tries in that first half. Oh, boy. And he missed that one. It's 41-40 Temple. Mike is having one of those nights. 
still a whole half to go to get back into it. We got the same lineup that started out there for both teams. This is Rochland. Pooh Richardson pulls up from 12 feet. They gave it to him. He was wide open. His zone didn't go out there, and Pooh buried it from 12 feet. And he's now three for five in the game. And the Bruins are back up by a point at 42-41. Evans, Richardson gives him some room. This is Macon, Emma on him. Timmy Perry backing up on Rochland. And the rebound, Trevor Wilson. Pooh Richardson at half court met by Evans. Immel swings it to Rochland. That's his spot. So he starts the second half the way he finished the first. John probably doesn't want to call a timeout this early. But the way this club runs the floor up and down, up and down, he may be forced to call one fairly early. Rochland's hit his last four shots. And UCLA's lead is up to three, 44-41. Macon leaves it for Vrieswick. Breezewood, or uh, Macon, and the rebound, Perry, way up into the air for that one. Timmy on the floor now, Ramon Rivas battles with it with Foster, and we got a foul call. It's going to be against UCLA, I believe. I think we got a foul, not just an out-of-bounds play. Now they're going to say it's off of uh, UCLA. Okay. So, it is a perfect. Yeah, there's the scramble. Let's see here. Foster reaching in, and Rochland, they're going to call it on Rochland. He mugged Ramon Rivas from behind. Wow. That's a pretty tough call, I think. <laughs> Walt Hazard thinks so. I think so, too. <laughs> They're fighting for possession for a ball that's fairly loose, and anything can happen under there. Here's Mark making the inbound. Grieswick with Wilson right in his face. And uh, Wilson thought the Grease would travel. Howard Evans down low. Rivas gets them both off their feet. Oh, it won't go, but he's fouled. Very good move by Ramon. Very, very encouraging move. I didn't think he could make that move with his knee. He got both Foster. Watch this move, Harry. And Rochelin off their feet. They did a very, very good job to get that ball off. Here's a kid coming up. Orthroscopic surgery. He's probably a little overweight. He can't run all that much. And he made a great move. Now he's got to make the foul shot. The Owls trail by three. Rebos hits the first. He uh, was one for four from the field, only two points in that first half, but he did have four rebounds. He and Mark Macon and Timmy Perry all had four rebounds for the Owls in that first half. The Owls with ten offensive rebounds. Oh, boy, Ray, good, to see, good to see a guy walk up there and make two, Harry. Right. What, what has happened here, which is what I didn't want to see happen, the crowds in the game. Foster with Perry applying the pressure. Macon ahead of the pack. He's got Timmy Perry. He pulls up on Pooh Richardson. Waits for Vrieswick to help out. Double teaming now. And Macon for three. Timmy Perry. But Rivas is there to get it to go down. Couple offensive rebounds that time. Six points for Ramon. And the Owls back up by a point. 45-44. Macon made that play go. He out jumped two 6-8 guys here for the rebound to start the play. And the Owls got two more offensive rebounds on one trip. The zone coming out now against Pooh. Goes behind his back. Immel can't get past Macon and Rivas. Wilson by Breezeway. Dishes to Rochley. He's hit four in a row. He missed. But there's Immel. That's a guard going up for that rebound. Wilson stripped by Breezewick, and Macon gets a loose ball. Good play by Mike Breezewick to strip it from a pretty strong guy in Trevor Wilson. Well, he made the same mistake that Raymond made a little while ago. He took the ball up, then brought it down to his knees and allowed somebody to get it. The Owls running a twin low post, both sides. Macon comes out to help Howard Evans. Down low, Curry. He's got position on Rochland, but Howard can't get in the ball. Breezewick. Hey, Michael hit one. The pride and joy of Marsville. And Walt Hazard says we got to get somebody in that boy's face. Well, as I feared at halftime, or as I hoped at halftime, if one guy could turn a ball game around for Temple, it could be Breeswick, and he's due. The Owls lead it by three, 47-44. Down low, Wilson. Double teamed again, stripped. Big block by Perry. And Macon nearly retrieved it, but couldn't get it as it came over here to our location. That's where Pooh Richardson is going to feed it in. Watch this block by Timothy Perry. Watch this on an athletic kid on Wilson. Look at that. That's a major league block. Yeah, he's had a few of them in his career, hasn't he? Immo goes into the corner. Rochland. Good job by Macon to cut off Pooh's attended pass there for Wilson. This is Immo. Look at Ramon all the way out on the wing. Wilson lost it again. 
He's had troubles holding on to the basketball here in the second half. Trevor Wilson, the Owls knocked it out. And Hazard doesn't like what he sees going on here. Last couple trips down the court for the Bruins. The Owls have either stripped the ball or knocked it away. Temple playing much better determined defense. Not following the guy through, not going man to man, but toughening up on the zone. Rashlin feeds it, Richardson, Immel's open. Down on the floor, Foster, Immel pulls up and hit it. Nice touch. And we got another one-point Temple lead at 47-46. Immel with 12 points. The Bruins have gone man to man for the entire game. Breezewick trying to spring free of Trevor Wilson. Down low, Perry with position, and Rossman reached in. That's his second foul here in the half. And Hazard's off the bench again. He don't like that call, but the foul is going to be against Charles Rossman. Uh, UCL likes to go with that 2-2-1 full court press, and then right back to a man-to-man, -man, and they've been very consistent in it all night long. The score is 47-46. The Temple Owls leading right here in a ball game that's going according to form pretty much. Really a good one. offensive rebounding. Bill, here's another one for Big Ramon. He got it down. Temple stayed in the game area on uh, the offensive board, so that's the reason why they're where the position they're in that they can win this game. There's the offensive rebounding statistics, and that tells a mammoth story. 12-3 Temple on the offensive board. If you take that stat away, you've got blowout builds here, but they're staying right in the ball because they've done such a good job on the offensive boards. Would that they were doing that good a job on the defensive board. <laughs> the Owls lead 47-46, and we'll inbound. This is the first of four games we'll have for you here on Channel 57. Glad you could be with us as the Owls open it up. As uh, Mike Petchko, the assistant athletic director for Temple University Sports has put together a nice TV package for the fans back in Philly. Here's Mike Breezewick swinging it over Howard Evans. Boo Richardson right on him. Breezewick, bang! I told you, I told you. Once he gets it going, it's like shooting practice. I keep those guys from Jersey down on the farm forever. 50 to 46. Breezewick with a three-pointer there. Breezewick is really from Marsville, Pennsylvania. That's across the across the river. He was once the Pennsylvania High School scoring champion. Down low foul against the Owls. Let's go over to Burlington Bristol Bridge. That's all right. He can hit a jump shot from Bucks County and hit it over. And well, I've been watching that kid play like this. Watching this kid play like this, Harry, now for two years. I've seen him have some gosh awful first halves and come out with a game on the line and just blitz everybody. He's that kind of a player. Foster really drew a crowd there. And he'll get a trip to the line. He's where five for five from the floor, this guy. Yeah, but he's had some problems like everybody else uh, with the Bruins. Well, he actually, he hasn't. This is his first trip. Or his uh, third foul shot. I'm sorry. He's now one for three. The Bruins shot 13% from the line in that first half. A 50% effort that time by Foster. He got a three-point Temple lead at 50-47. to 47. And John Chaney with some... Advice for Timmy Purry as Timmy crossed in front of the bench. This is Mark Macon. He's had a quiet second half. He took charge for the Alzo at the end of that first half. Hit three big baskets for them. As uh, he took over the controls when Howard Evans, the point guard, went to the bench. Evans feeding it to Timmy Purry, posting up on Rosler. Making quick pass. Evans open for the long jump. And Trevor Wilson trips gone after it, but the Owls were the last ones to touch it. It'll be UCLA ball. I've had the pleasure of meeting Mike Breeswick's mother and father in a few of the game. They must be taking every shot with this kid here in the second half because he struggled so mightily in the first half. Rashlin. Uh, so he had four in a row, missed one. Now he's got another streak going, maybe. Very that jumper. I'll tell you, Harry, I got a scouting report on this team that's absolutely red letter perfect. And the first thing the guy told me was Rashlin. Corner and the baseline. He's been murdered. He's got 10 points. And it's 50-49 Temple with 14 minutes left in the game. Macon over Immel. And Mark Macon hits that 17-footer. Well, he's got a shooting touch. He handles the ball. He plays a good defense. And he's only a freshman. Well, he's a good enough reason. Game. He's, pardon me. He's a good enough reason for you to never miss a Temple game. You got to look at this kid for four years. That's right. There's Wilson, double team, trying to get Perry off his feet. He rejects it. Third block for Perry. Bruins get it back. Richardson fakes on Howard Evans. Immel, Rashlin's open. That's trouble. In and out. Wilson, two rebounds. Ramon got a hand on him and a three-point play opportunity as Wilson got it down. I tell you, Wilson is a very, very impressive player. What a great, great athlete. Trevor Wilson. Here is the whole 
thing over for you again. Watch number four, acrobatic. There goes one, takes it to the other side. There he draws the foul from Ramon, and he just bangs away and bangs away and bangs away. If there are any football coaches watching this game tonight, I'm sure they'd love to have number four. They'd find a place for him to play someplace. I can imagine Dick Vermeil, Harry, whom you know well, who used to coach here, looking at a guy like this and saying, wow, why couldn't I have had him? <laughs> Boy, he's a good athlete. Ramon Rivas is on the bench. Sean Johnson's into the Temple lineup replacing Rivas. Three-point play by Trevor Wilson brings us to a 52-52 tie with 13 and a half minutes left. Evans down low, Curry. Spinning, shooting over Foster. And there's Wilson tapping the loose ball out of bounds. They say Timmy Curry hit it last. So the Bruins giving John Chaney a fit here on the sidelines. With a chance here for UCLA to regain the lead. Trevor Wilson is 6'8". Did he ever play the game? The average is 21 points a game. 8.7 rebounds. Rossland can't get the short one down. And there's Breezewick with the rebound. And here comes Howard Evans. Tied at 52. Howard working against Poo. They've done it so many times on the courts in Philly. Long jump by Breezewick. Doesn't go. Foster rebound. Ahead of the back comes Poo Richardson. Macon cuts him off. Open Roshlin. Yes. Charles Roshlin gives UCLA the two-point lead, and it's a 12-point night so far for Charles Roshlin. Oh, I tell you, you got to give the Owls a lot of credit. Though. They're playing the Bruins right up on their heels in their building. And they're not gonna go. Macon misses. Foster rebounds. Richardson leads the break. What a panel. No. And we got a foul before. No basket, Emil made the layup, but a foul, the second against Howard Evans. I don't believe that pass. I'd like to see the pass over again. Even though it doesn't count, I do not believe he ever delivered the ball where he delivered it. Here it is. Watch this pass. Oh, brother. Woo. This is the last trip down, I believe, as Roshlin buried that jumper. Wow. Who Richardson from Ben Franklin High. Shades of his coach there, Walt Hazard. Remember the way he used to twirl that ball around a little bit? Does it left-handed, right-handed? On the inbounds pass, Richardson goes to Trevor Wilson. Foster over Perry. Big arc because Timmy's already blocked him three times. Loose ball in front of the Temple bench, and Howard Evans got it. No doubt Timmy Perry altered that shot projection by Foster. Tied, it, or no, UCLA leads 54-52. Just over 12 minutes left in the ball game. Wouldn't you love to be sitting next to John Wooden in a game like this? Who's making Only a freshman. Over Emil. Oh, he's the go-to guy already. We haven't even played his first full college game. And we're tied again at 54. And he has 14 points. <laughs> well, you know, he had, what, 29 against the Greek national yeah, team in an exhibition game. But they said, really, John kind of held him back in that one. Right, and he got them all in the flow of the game. I saw the game, and he got them all in the flow of the game. He didn't force anything. Once again, UCLA working that perimeter. Here's Wilson, and he's going to be called for traveling. Tried to, push, tried to get by Breezewick with a quick step, and he dragged it. Probably the first mistake he's made tonight, Harry. Just under 12 minutes left in the ball game. We're tied at 54. We'll be back with in NCAA basketball, and there's UCLA, ranked number four behind Kentucky, North Carolina, and St. John's. And I have a feeling, of course, Bill, with, with uh, the way Temple's program is going up before long, John Cheney will be up there among the Giants. And they're speaking of Giants is the guy at the head of the class. John Wooden here back on UCLA's campus for basketball. Walt Hazard, of course, who played for John Wooden out of Overbrook High in his fourth season as a head coach. Trip to the NCAA tournament last year. You know, Temple hasn't done a bad job. It's in eighth place now in all-time wins with 1,262, two ahead of Duke, which will surprise a lot of people. We're tied at 54. Howard Evans holds and goes down low. This is Timmy Perry. Howard for three. Oh. Howard Evans gives Temple a 57-54 lead. See what that does, Harry? It takes the crowd right out of the game. It quiets the crowd, and you don't get that sixth guy who you get against you all the time here. So Howard picks up the slack with 14 points, and here he is, uh, Macon with a steal. Stripped it up. Emma, look at Mark Macon. You don't usually see John Chaney freshman put on a show like that. But Mark Macon just took it right to the hoop and slammed it. And the Owls now lead it 59-54 with just over 11 minutes left. And 
We got down low at foul. Derek Brantley trying to get defensive positioning on Trevor Wilson is called for the personal foul. Well, you got to be looking for something to make that call. And Cheney was up off the bench irate when that call was made. Well, the funny thing is the way UCLA, here is uh, Macon again, slamming. He's only, what, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Took it strong there after the steal. That's really, uh, Look at that advantage for the Owls from the backcourt. 36-18 over the Bruins. And, the, and, the, and the, the guards for UCLA aren't doing that badly. I mean, Immel and Richardson aren't too bad. There's Immel now. He's kind of trapped there by Howard in the corner. Now Howard lets him get away. And they set up that perimeter offense. The only guy down low, Trevor Wilson, now he's matched on the other side by Foster. Drew Richardson swings it over to Walker. Rieswick with a tight defense on the Temple zone. Down low, Wilson had position. Howard Evans trying to reach for the ball. Got a piece of Trevor Wilson. And that's the third personal foul on Howard Evans. I'll tell you, Harry, they're calling everything very, very, very close right now. And Cheney took another little walk for himself, as you can see in the background of your picture. They're calling everything, reach in, everything now. Number three on Howard with 10.47 left in the game. Temple leads by five points. Emma will go to the bench. He's replaced by Matkins, number 12 there. As they line up on the inbounds, Richardson will throw it in. I feed the Foster. Greg Foster hits it. And it's 59-56, 13 points for Greg Foster. Howard Evans. Make it again. Short, Breezewick over the top, can't get the loose ball, and here comes Crew Richardson, he's got Matkins down on the right side, and the pass is deflected. Great save by Macon, he came out of nowhere to make the save after the deflection, and then it's finally knocked off with the out. But a great save by Mark Macon when it appeared the ball was going out of bounds, eventually it did. Howard Evans goes to the bench with three personal fouls, and John replaces him with Pearsall. So here's another chance for Mark Macon, Bill, to take over the offense as the point guard. Now watch, what a little transition takes place here now on the Temple team, as Macon will go to the point. Richardson feeds it back, Matkin. Gerald Matkin, that's his first two. Matkin's is a freshman. 59-58, Temple with 10 minutes left. Here's Mark Macon doing it all on offense. The only guard out there. He's working with Breezewick. Down low, Curry. Look at Foster give him a cushion. Curry's strong with it, but Breezewick over the top for the offensive rebound. The Owls have been just superb in that department all game. They get another chance here as Macon. Lines it up this time from the left side. This is the biggest lineup probably Temple will have on the floor as Macon goes over the top. Another tap by Breezewick. The Owls another offensive try. It's rejected as Brantley got the rebound. And here comes Pooh. Brantley looked like he should have been on the foul line. It looked like somebody went over his back, but he didn't get the call. Matkins filling up that left wing. Pooh goes by Macon. Can't get it down. And there's the loose ball. And look at Pooh Richardson battling for it. We got a jump. Brantley's down there with Pearsall. And at the bottom of it all is Pooh Richardson. Chaney's guy on the court. Chaney and Jim Maloney are complaining that they should have had Brantley on the line of the preceding play. And I really think they should have. John wants an over-the-top call against Pooh Richardson or somebody. That was down there. Down on the, the other end, right. As the Owls continue to pound the offensive boards. It's 59-58, Temple. Biggest lead of the night has been six points for the Owls. It came in the first half. They've had a five-point lead here in the second. Wilson with a long jump, but Foster's got it. Feeds again Wilson. And they decide to pass it out and start all over again. Here's Pooh Richardson at the top. Well, they've got a fresh 45, so they might as well use it. Exactly nine minutes left. Temple leads by a point. Wilson, okay. good look. Richardson down among the Giants, and it's off Temple. Good pass. Wilson just snapped it in there, and Pooh Richardson found himself among the Redwoods. 8.54 left in the half. John Chaney tucking in the shirt and trying to uh, get something going here for the Owls. Who lead. Oh, there's a date you want to jot down. Monday, January 4th, 8 o'clock. Our cameras will be in Philadelphia, McGonagall Hall, where the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers will take on the Temple Owls. Be sure to join us for more exciting Temple University basketball. It's Monday, January 4th, Temple Off, 8 o'clock. The Owls against the Scarlet Knights. Greg Foster, big second half. Yeah, he's got 13 points and eight rebounds. He's been a very, very consistent player. He's a much better player than I was led to believe he was. He's very strong, plays both ends of the floor. I'll tell you, UCLA's going to be tough. They're going to win a lot of games.
Temple Allen giving a great account of themselves here tonight in UCLA. Boston just a seven-point sophomore. Here's Pooh rejected by Curry. That's his fourth block. Here's Macon. Two on two. Pulls up. Loose ball. Macon got the rebound and scored it. Mark Macon with 18 points. And the Owls back up by three with eight and a half minutes left. Macon came here with impeccable credentials and he's played up to every one of them. Wilson's had a tough time in the second half just holding on to the ball. Matkins gets it to Poole. Corner, Walker, they have a hand on him and he lost it. Walker Prairie, the three-point jumper in the first half. Now we have Immel, number 30, coming in for UCLA. He replaces Pooh Richardson. First break for Pooh. Immel there with 12 points. Uh, UCLA looked like getting a little bit rattled, which is surprising in their own building and losing some poise. And I think Walt got Immel back in there to try to settle things down a little bit. Breezeway by the freshman Matkins. Mike never had a hold of that ball. Never had a hold of it. Wilson rebounds and ahead to Emma. He'll run the show now with Richardson on the bench. Three-point try, Walker. And the offensive rebound as Matkins threw it away. Matkins just threw it away. Jimmy Maloney is cautioning Rieswick to take his time. He shot that jump shot down yeah. at the other end with the palm of his hand. He never had his fingers on the ball. Seemed a little off, uh, out of control when he came off the dribble that time in beating the defender. He left something behind. He's just telling him there's a lot of time and just shoot it and we'll get it back one at a time. But Temple leads by three. Just under eight minutes left. This is Macon. He's had 18 points in his college debut here at Paul. Timmy Perry. Position blocked. Rashlin came from nowhere to block Timmy Perry. What a baseline player he is. Here's Immel. Working with Matkins, the freshman in the Bruins backcourt. Walker down low. Greg Foster, seven-footer. Back it in. Double team. Piece it off Rashlin. And a whistle. And a temple foul. Make it right in the middle of that play up among those tall trees. He's all over the place. In turnovers in the second half, Temple has not turned it over at all. And UCLA has turned it over four times. That's what I find most incredible in a game played with such high pitch intensity. They've been very careful with the ball. Cheney has uh, returned Ramon Rivas to the Owls lineup, taking over for Derek Brantley. Long jump for three by Matkins. Won't go, and Curry's got the rebound. Here comes Temple with a three-point lead and just over seven minutes remaining. Now Matkins, with uh, Pooh Richardson on the bench, picks up the defensive assignment against Howard Evans. Making Immo on him. Well, wouldn't they love to walk out of here with a win in this place? And Paulie Pavilion? Wow. Oh, are there seven-point underdogs tonight going in the house? Surprising. Ramon Rivas got it down. Good position. And Ramon with a little bit of a soft touch this year. He's got eight points. In the past couple of years, Ramon's been a little heavy with that shot down low. That time he got it down with a nice soft touch. And the Owls lead it again by five. Immel, Evans right on him. They swing it in a hurry to Rashlin. Wow. Now Matkins, Walker, look at this kid from outside for three. That's his second three-pointer. He's got eight points. And it's a 63-61 Temple lead. For the day I see my last game, I'll never get used to seeing six foot ten guys walk out on the perimeter at a three-pointer. <laughs> well, they must have confidence in him doing it. He's taken two and he's hit both up. I saw a guy at Mississippi do it the other night against St. Joe's. Look at Megan working for the shot. May have forced it. Rebound. Matkins. Chance here for the Bruins to tie. Ahead of the pack. Walker. But he's fouled. Megan pushed him a chance for a three-point play that would have given UCLA the lead. And we have Walker going to the line for a couple free throws. And Mark Macon commits the foul. Look, see this play over again. This Walker's a heck of a competitor. Watch when he gets pushed here. There's reaction after he's pushed. He's in for an easy layup. And he gets the push right here. And he's looking very unhappy in the right-hand corner. Very, very good call, by the way, and an accurate call. So we got only a two-point Temple lead. Just under six minutes left. We've got a real barn burner here tonight. It I think both coaches should be very proud of their team's win, lose, or draw. Kevin Walker, 6'10 sophomore out of Brea, California. Linda High School hits the first of two. Walker making there his first free throw on the night. One for two. The Bruins have struggled all night at the line. Let's not fail to mention the game that Tim Perry's played. He's played very, very well. Four block shots. 
as he is accustomed to doing. One of the top block or shot blockers in the nation is Timmy Perry. Mark Bacon not hesitant to put that one up. It's short, and Timmy Perry will get credit for the rebound. He tracks it down, and Hazard can't believe there was no white shirts around that ball. And the Owls will set it up again with five and a half minutes remaining. They lead 63-62. Especially since the shot stayed in the air so long. This is Mark Macon. He has fit right into Temple's lineup with uh, some big shoes to fill. 20 points worth of Nate Blackwell, who of course went on to the NBA in the San Antonio Spurs before being waived just a couple days ago. It's Kevin Walker jumping in front of Ramon Rebox. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Cheney go to a replacement for Rebox to get a little more speed in the game here. Here's Howard Evans. Crew Richardson back into the Bruins lineup on him. Breezewick, he's been quiet here in the second half. Hazard wants a turnover there. He said to Breezewick, Palmer, no whistle. Macon handles it over to Howard Evans. They're trying to spring Breezewick down low. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Howard Evans hits for three. When in doubt, put it up, Howie. He's got 17. Temple's five for eight on the foul line. 63% and UCLA is 4 for 13. Pooh Richardson. Now I know is Immel. Wide open. Good fake too. He got rebound off his feet and it was early before Timmy Perry came along and Immel now with 14 points. And Megan and Perry let that guy Immel get in between them and they realize they fell asleep on the baseline. Got the feeling this one will be right down to the wire. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Breezewick. Megan not too shy. Oh! Mark Macon with Mark 20 Macon. points. When's the last freshman you can remember firing shots from out there in a, in a game like this? He's got no conscience, does he? <laughs> He's great. He's just great. Greg Foster. Prue Richardson. This is Rashland. Oh, yeah. What a play. What a play. What a play. Mark Macon. Freeze that. Freeze that. Oh, what a great play. Walt Hazard says, let's talk about it. Oh, as Mark Macon has taken over here in the second half. Temple leads by play. That was an absolutely unbelievable steal. Here is a freshman making this play. He has 22 points in the game and just pack it up and put it on a reel and send it to Springfield. Isn't that great? Spell it M-A-C-O-N. Oh. Mark Macon from Saginaw, Michigan. And he is everything and a lot more than it was promised. Macon on the night with 22 points here. In the second half, from the field, he is shooting 7 for 12, 10 for 19 for the ball game. is Mark Macon, and he has just really taken over control here in the second half. When he, the great part of the play, as you can see, was his anticipatory powers. He, he saw it coming all the way, and this is a transition club that loves to go border to border and coast to coast, and he just hung near the midcourt line and commandeered the play all the way. That was a freshman who made that play. That was an unbelievable play. And it might have been the ball game. It might have been. Still a lot of time. 345 left in the Owls lead 70-64. Yeah, I say that reluctantly, but that might have been the game. Here's Trevor Wilson. He's been quiet in the second half, hasn't he? Over Rebos, forced it up there. Bad shot. Bad Rebound shot. Breezeway. You're quite right, bad shot. Yeah, Wilson really forced it against Ramon. He wanted to get two in a hurry. And instead he gives the Owls now a chance to build their biggest lead of the night. Here's Howard Evans with a bad pass. He was zigging and Breezewick was zagging. The difference here is that a Machini player made a shot like Wilson just made. He'd be on the bench He'd now. be on the bench with John. That's the difference. That's why John's such a great coach. Kevin Walker checks in, replacing Trevor Wilson. He's had a cold second half. So Wilson's going out too with Hazard. 317 left. Plenty of time for the Owls to just work the clock. They lead 70-64 with the ball is Mark Macon, who's been just brilliant here in his college debut. It's a good piece of coaching by Hazard to get that kid out of there and force the shot as Cheney would have done. Here's Macon, sizing up Emma. Look at his shot, he's blocked. He went to his left hand, Rebasso, and a foul is called against Greg Foster, who can't believe it. Well, I'll tell you, Harry, if we're going to be accurate in the objective, that's not a great shot either by Macon. Not at this situation. Uh, driving down the right side, trying to... Watch him try to hook the ball left-handed over two trees here. That's not a very good shot with the game on the line either. Probably the first mistake the kids made is a sensational performance. Charles Rushland got the block, and there's Foster saying, not me, with the personal thing. There's Ramon Rebus. Strong off the offensive boards has been Ramon tonight. Played a lot of minutes, too. 
That's it's the, the first. That's the most encouraging thing about his performance. He's played a lot more minutes than I expected. Ball Hazard now finds his club down by seven. That's the most either team has led by. Temple had a six-point lead in the first half. UCLA had a couple four-point leads. 72-64. Temple by eight, just over three minutes left. Walker. Here's Richardson going to Rashlin, back to Poole. Gets the screen. Goes, oh, great block by Rebounds. All four for Ramon Rebounds. It was as clean as they come. Very good play. Who Richardson had a step on Rebos, who just reached out and took it away. Temple's taking over this game at both ends of the floor, which a lot of people here never expected to see happen. Now here's the freshman. Made a bad shot the last time. This time he's going to use the clock. Use the clock with 2.20 left. 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Temple leads it by 8, 72-64. Making back it in. Now he takes the long jump for three. Another maybe bad shot. And Howard Evans says with 15 seconds left on the shot clock, that's not the one we wanted there from three-point distance. And Jim Maloney is saying the same thing on the bench. And Evans went over and told Bacon, hey, you got to look up with the clock. And John Cheney, not satisfied at all with the freshman shot selection that time. 2-10 left. Owls lead 72-64. And that tells much of tonight's story. The Bruins' inefficiency from the line. Four for 13 on the game compared to the out seven for 10. This team doesn't lose very many games in its building, and it has a big, big crowd here tonight. And Temple's been able to take the six-man, the crowd, out of it with a very, very good performance at both ends of the floor. But this is the way John Chaney coaches. It doesn't matter who you are. Celebrated freshman, celebrated senior when you make a mistake. You hear about it. One and one try. Foster misses. Got the rebound. Block goes up. Blocked again. They call the foul on Rebounds. So Foster, missing that front end of the one-on-one, -on -one, had two more chances at it. Rebound picks up the foul. Let's take a look at this battle of two tough big men. They're both about the same size. 6'10", 6'11". You're going to see a little battle here as Raymond and Foster go out and once, twice, and there's the foul as he came over his shoulder. Two good competitors. I'm, I'm really delighted to see Raymond play this many minutes. I didn't expect it, and I think Cheney's secretly delighted for that. So the ice cold free throw shooting continues as Walt Hazard sits back and says, next practice, we go to the line. Well, they made 57% of their first two games. You can't continue to shoot fouls like that and win. And they're Conference is going to start pretty soon. It's a tough conference. Here's the first time we've seen the full court pressure by the Bruins. They trail 72-65. Here's the steal. Richardson will get the layup. He's they stripped Griezmann to the ball. There's the double team press. They go 2-2-1 two -two press, and they actually beat it pretty it. good. Now they beat it as Evans looked ahead and found Griezmann at half court. 145 left. Temple leads 72-67. Temple never wanted the ball in Breezewick's hands, and that's the choice. Macon and Howard Evans probably will do the bulk of the handling here. They better. A minute and a half left. 24 seconds left on the shot clock, so the Owls have plenty of time to work with it. Drew Richardson reaching in against Howard Evans, who's content to just let some air out. This is where you use Nate Blackwell. <laughs> Oh, look at Macon go between the legs. They pushed him. Foul. They pushed him. Oh, go, no. In the oh, NBA, man. that's continuation. John Chaney's dancing down the bench. John Chaney wants the three-point play. John, this is the NBA. They play at the forum here in L.A., not at Pauline Pavilion. Yeah, but then we'll reach in for the steal. And, uh, it was in plain view and out of the open court. So, the Owls will have the inbound. UCLA not in the penalty situation. There's our situation. Temple by five. And Mark Macon with a full 45 on the shot clock will inbound. They get it into Breezeway. Jackson oh. on him. Immel nearly coming up with a steal. Look at Macon shoot in this situation. And he goes airborne. Airborne. Trying to do too much. And UCLA gets a chance to draw Evans. to within three. They got to get that ball to Evans and let him settle everything down. Evans hardly touch him to a wall. Down low, Foster on Rivas. Foster. No, and Timmy Perry with a big rebound. And John Chaney now looking for the foul for a deliberate. That could be two. They'll only get one. Who Richardson committed the ball in this situation. You can't ask this rookie to work on, walk on water in his first year. He's done enough. He's done more than his share. But they've got to get the ball to Evans and let him run it right. Evans has got to get the ball now, and Evans has got to uh, take over. Evans is making the transition. 
from the off guard of the point guard. There's no better place to make it than right there. Timmy Perry, a big one-and-one -one situation. He makes the front end. That gives Temple a six-point lead. 73-67. Nine points on the night for Timmy. He's got four block shots. He's played great. And Plays a ton of rebounds. Makes them both. So, 52 seconds left. It's 74-67. The Owls lead it by seven. And no doubt here, the Bruins will try to get back into it in a hurry with a three-point try. Walker, he's hit two, he misses there, and there's Rivas for the rebound. And they swarm around him, and Ramon just hands it to Howie Evans. Oh, and boy, Howie boy. now can just dribble oh, away. Well, that's the way to play the game. The shot clock's turned off, only 37 seconds left, and Howie Evans can put this one on ice for Temple. As Walt Hazard can do nothing but watch Temple really do whatever it wants in the final 37 seconds of this game, leading 74-67, and John Chaney should have himself a very satisfying opening night victory here at Pauley Pavilion. And look at these Southern Californians head for the parking lot. They do it in baseball, they do it in football, they do it here. I wondered if they did it here, but they get to the parking lot and get going. They're the greatest well, bunch of front runners in history. They're gone. Here is Howard Evans making the front end of that one and one. Everybody back as his customer in this situation for Temple. No owls up there for Howard Evans to even look at. Hey, Howard, I Howard saw... makes them both. It's 76-67. Biggest lead of the night for the owls here. In the final 34 seconds, Immel. That's for three. And the Bruins will call it quick timeout. Right, here we go. Macon gets it into Purry. They try to beat the trap. Rebus is clubbed by Immel. Oh. There you go. I saw them walk out in the seventh inning one night. Kofax is pitching a no-hitter. <laughs> they caught the last three innings with Ben Scully. Rivas hits a big one right there. 77 to 70. 28 seconds left. And not too much joy on the Bruin bench. This place is half empty, if that. Ramon hits both of them. He looks over to John. As in Cheney. Immel, this will be for two. And Foster with the rebound. No, Timmy Perry battling a couple Bruins there. And we got a whistle and a jump ball. Oh, 21 seconds left. Temple leads 78 to 70. And it's Temple's advantage on the jump. And Mark Macon will inbound against the UCLA pressure. And this horse is in the barn. And what a great opening day win for the Owls. In the barn, all right. Here's Perry. Tied up whistle foul against UCLA. Perry hits the first. UCLA series will now be all even at two and two. They once played in Tokyo. Right. UCL beat, well, it's UCLA beat them 73-49 in 1980. Beat them here at Pauley, but the Owls won last year at McGonagall, and they're going to win this one. Murray now with 12. Quite great. And with 20 seconds to go, Temple leads it by 10. Here's Pooh Richardson. He'll go for three. Wilson tied up by Howard Evans. Good defense. Good defense. This is Roshlin. He buries that three-pointer. Another timeout. This will be the final timeout tonight. Right, look at that stat. That's, that's execution. Make your foul shots. That's part of it. Here's Rebos. And we have a whistle right in front of us. And the foul is called against UCLA. And Ramon will get it. A breeze we came back with a good second half after a poor first half shooting. Perry has played a very, very fine game. So I think John's got a lot to be thankful for tonight. Rebos. Three in a row now for Ramon from the line. Some big one and ones here down the stretch. And the Owls back up by eight, 81-73. The Bruins not used to losing here. No, they got a tremendous home record of 327 and 29, and this will make 30. Five seconds left. Richardson for three. 81 to 76, and that'll do it. It goes into the books as a five-point Temple victory tonight. The Owls opening on the road in tough competition against the UCLA Bruins. Final score, Temple 81, UCLA 76. Bill Campbell and I will be back.